Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions with the unboxing of the QNAP TS251A NAS drive. So let's get right into the unboxing. As soon as you unbox it from the top, you can see a little welcome message here. This basically says, we hope you enjoy this as much as we enjoyed creating it. The box is split into three compartments. You've got the power cables and ethernet cables and AC adapters and all that stuff on the left and right hand sides. You've also got the NAS drive itself in the center compartment. Let's be honest, you don't care about the Ethernet cables, you want to just see the NAS drive itself, and I'll show you that right now. When you pull the NAS drive out of the box, you'll notice that its size and weight is fairly typical of a NAS drive setup itself. You've also got a nice strip down the side which contains all the ports and the connections, as well as the two front bays. So let's move that to a side. We've also got a remote control in this box as well, which is quite interesting, because you don't tend to get that included with NAS drives. We'll get onto why this is included in the review coming up, but just know that it's there and it's pretty cool. Just in case you don't have internet connection, you've also got a manual included. So in summary, this box contains a quick installation guide, a remote control, an AC adapter, a power cable, two ethernet cables or ethernet cables, and the NAS drive itself. This is a two bay drive, which obviously means you've got two opportunities to put hard drives in there or solid state drives, depending on what you feel like doing. So just slide these out, place the hard drives on there, slide them back in, connect them to the right connections on the NAS drive itself. And then you'll find yourself with two hard drives with capacity on them for you to raid. You can add files and folders on there and all that stuff. A review is going to come out in the next week or so that will summarise how to do exactly this. So stay tuned for that, it's coming soon. So now let's talk about what's on the front of this NAS drive. So from the top we have the status lights, an SD card, a power button, a configurable button, a USB 3 port and a quick access USB port. On the bottom of the NAS drive we have rubber feet. This is to stop any of your desks being scratched up if you choose to place it on there as well as any other vulnerable surfaces. And on the back we have a reset button for configuration. We have a Kensington lock port. We have a microphone and headphone jack, an HDMI port, two USB 3 ports, two network ports and a power connection port. Also we've got the fan which is going to be pretty quiet. I'm sure with all NAS drives you often get quiet fans in the back to keep things cool. So the overall hardware specs are as follows. We have an Intel Celeron N3060 dual core processor with a 1.6 GHz clock. We have an Intel 8th generation HD graphics GPU. You can put up to 8 GB of DDR3L1600 RAM in there. There are two SODIMM slots. You can fit two 3.5 or 2.5 inch SATA drives in there, either HDD or SDD. There are three USB 3 ports, one on the front, three on the back. There are two LAN ports. There's one HDMI port, we have one 3.5mm microphone in, we have one 3.5mm line out. We have an SD card reader, we have a USB quick access port, we have a net weight of 1.28 kilograms, a gross weight of 2.32 kilograms, we have an AC adapter, and in the box comes a NAS quick installation guide, AC adapter, power cord, two LAN cables, a screw pack, and a remote control. And if you're interested, it was made in Taiwan. Thank you very much. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with the unboxing of the TS-251A QNAP NAS drive.